So go ahead and walk them through before we put the measurements on the importance of breathability and why uh, snout, you don't want to smash face Rottweiler. Extremely important, man. So I'm going to tell you first of all the confirmation wise, then I'm going to the, the medical wise, yeah. right? So the health. We'll start wise. with the medical. Medical. Because okay, confirmation so is personal. That medical is what's going to cost them in the long run. Exactly, yeah. So medically, you need, first of all, a. a 40% ratio, the reason behind it, you gotta fit in 42 feet comfortably. Yep. Right? You can't fit a glass of water in a half glass of cup yeah, yeah. size, right? It's gonna overflow, it's gonna go here and there. So that's how the teeth works. They're gonna they're gonna grow, they're gonna erupt, but they'll be crooked, bad bite, and all that stuff. So that's one thing. Second thing, shorter snout not lo not proper nasal cavities and passages sorry not passages to breathe and have that oxygen flowing and help to help the heart mm -hmm. because everything in in anatomy it's connected there's a reason <laughs> for it right yeah. people don't understand a lot of people don't understand some people do yeah. uh, and i hope they, they convert the one though they don't uh, it's everything is connected in your just because you like the certain look the shorter snout, big head, you're ruining the breed. You're basically causing health problem in the breed. And you can you can see a lot of people gonna say, oh, she has a s s shorter snout. No, she doesn't. She has a standard snout according to her head. Because mm -hmm. every time you're looking at it, 60-40, we gotta keep that in mind. That, hey, what is the breed standard? This female also passed her BSE or breed suitability evaluation yeah. in Europe this okay. year. Yeah, she is one of our import. She has had one litter. I I kept her female, her her puppy, Porsche that you met. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the the, the crazy one. <laughs> she she is she's puppy. I'm loving how she's developing. She her energy. She's almost six months old, five and a half six months old. By the time you got fit bully comes back to our property to our kennel. She look like a different dog. We're gonna she? showcase Porsche and you'll <laughs> see a different, different one. But yeah, so this is her name is Ultima. She's uh, she's from one of the top kennel uh, in Europe. Yeah. And and you can see we talked about uh, the breeding. Oh, so so the, the muzzle to head ratio, right? We're gonna measure it. I'm gonna hold her. And again, always measuring. You you keep your thumb here to because you're not gonna have enough time to slide your thumb because they're gonna move, right? Yeah. So we're gonna put it right here like this. So like right there. We have, see, right under, between seven and eight, right here. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna do it again to get it right. Seven and a half, <clears throat> right there, right? So what's the top part of her head need to be if it's seven and a half? It's got to be, you just, uh, 14, 14, 7, 7, so about 13 and a half this, uh, to 14, right? Let's see. Shh. Hmm. 13. There you go. That's a 60, 40 split, huh? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Now, last thing before we close this one out, walk them through why you guys, are there any benefits of docking and tail? No. <laughs> other, other than you're just wanting that look, uh, me personally, that's, uh, I'm, I'm, there, there are study being done, studies being done. They haven't announced it properly, but uh, tail provides stability, right? That's yeah. one thing. Second thing, when you're docking the tail that early, because uh, with, the, with the Rottweiler, if you dot the tail the correct way to have that famous look of yeah. old Rottweiler, you gotta go on the on on the on the first two vertebrae mm. of that right right there, right? And like when you're docking, like put a penny there, there that's the trick to dock the tail. So it's not like a docking like a Cane Corso or or a Dobermans and stuff where you have a longer snout. So what happens is like when you dock that tail right here, right here. And their 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 puppies, it's going to affect their hips. That young age, 
Interesting. So you're, you're basically, the studies, like I said, they're being done. I'm constantly talking to the judges and the other big breeders in Europe um, and to pick their brain, what they're doing, uh, to, of course, obviously educate myself and yeah. better my program. And they're saying that there are possibilities that that docking tail could lead, also lead to hip dysplasia. Interesting. Because you are messing up with the hips. You are messing up with that cartilage right there that's connected and it needs to grow, it needs to develop. Yeah. So we don't dock tails. But again, um, it's allowed only if it's medically deep. Ah. Uh, if, if and what not, is the medical reason to dock someone's uh, tail? Maybe it's broken. Broken tail. Broken tail. And it's going to hurt in the long run. Oh, yeah. Then you it'll go, cause more back problems. It, it'll cause more. So to make their life easier, you you, you, you got to go and surgically dock tail. Because uh, if it's broken, you're not going to know in the first three days. Because when the puppy is born, actual docking needs to happen in the first three days. There you have it, people. You know? Well, we just got a breakdown of the head uh, and a little bit about the tail. This is a female. We've got a lot more stuff coming, people. It's going to take a little bit of time, but this is an intro series to, and we're going to do the next video and watch this as well. We're going to do a whole breakdown on the weapon stuff, but I want to get out and get a feel for the Rottweiler. I think I got a good take, good idea. Hopefully, it brought you guys plenty of information. This has been a blast. He's got beautiful, oh, you guys can't see. It's too much uh, exposure, but you see the land. Plenty of space out here. Uh, for the dogs, whole puppies here, whole puppies, and got chicken, puppy air chickens, and goats, and Billy and the crew over there. It's another <clears throat> another thing. If they, if you go to our social media, we're we're gonna start posting on on YouTube too, on yeah. Instagram. You'll see our our puppies. We're socializing with chickens too. We're socializing our puppies with goats too. So they have that early exposure. That all right, cool. Once after they get their, you know, the Neopar or first shot booster, and they get their first five in one. After that. Last week, they get to see, okay, what's this goat look like, you know? <laughs> so they, they mess around and goats headbutt them, and it's, it's just like building that confidence, oh, yeah. having fun with them, and making sure that everything we're doing for puppies on, on, on our land, it's to help them boost their confidence. That's it. <laughs> All right, people, stay tuned. Take care of your dogs.